other side of the street. <laughs> I was going to argue with Providence. I pull into the spot, and I look down the road. Way down the way, there's this big dump truck. I got time. So I go across the lanes, and I come to that Jersey barrier, and I go to climb over, and I'm like, whoops. <laughs> Not a good idea to get the leg. So I look at this Jersey barrier, thinking, how am I going to get across this? And suddenly I remember the truck. <laughs> truck or no truck, though, it's not going to be long for I got to go in the barrier anyway. So what I did is I climbed over and I slithered over the top, rolled the other side, and ooh! Gravity's still there. Mm -hmm. Be careful. Fortunately, there's nobody in the porta potty. I open the door. Now remember, this is August. And I get hit with a perfume like you would not believe. <laughs> I call it Eau du Burley Man. <laughs> All of a sudden, the upper GI starts elbowing out the lower GI. The lower GI had nothing other than elbows back into the two and elbowing each other until they stopped and decided to sing in harmony. <laughs> fortunately for me, I was sick as a dog. I, mean, I was sick as a dog, but fortunately, Porta Potty handled both pointers and setters. So I had to play the room for each. A little while later, everything settles out. I come out of the Porta Potty. Ashy face, weak. And it didn't take a Sherlock Holmes to come to the deduction that what I should do is get in my car and go home. And I know what Sherlock Holmes would say about it. It's elementary. <laughs> so, my fellow Toastmasters, the next time you find yourself in a situation where you're wondering whether or not you should go to work, think about those the wise saying of someone that a smart person learns from their mistakes, but a smarter person learns from the mistakes of others. So when you find yourself in that situation, what are the three words you should remember? Stupid. 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 That's right. Matt.